Happy Halloween. <laughs> yes, indeed, pumpkin seed. Hey, Bubba, what's happening, man? Hello. So, yeah, no, I'm heading to uh, uh, Lexington. This is uh, going to go to Scarefest. And how does this make you feel? Um, shorter. Uh, very purplish. Um, I was at, I was I was actually feeling orange this morning. Hmm. And what does but, the orange represent to you? Uh, citrus fruits mostly. I was trying to be your therapist. Yeah, it's probably I, a dangerous oh, way to oh, go. Really? Yeah, especially with me. <laughs> you might actually, you might actually hear things that you didn't want to, that you didn't want to think about. <clears throat> so this is what I would look like after I was your therapist for two weeks. You ready? <laughs> I can't take anymore. <laughs> exactly. This is my Halloween outfit. You like it? Is that it? Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> just got no sleep. It's better than mine. <laughs> no, I found these in my garage. I was like, how cool are those? Oh, those are they're they're. You, you know what? They're they're the answer to the question. Yes, you're right. Just I've saying. asked that question many times too. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and when you don't, ha and when you don't have those, you just don't have a great answer, right? So when is so Scarefest? So this 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 episode will probably happen after Scarefest. <laughs> so before we get started, how was Scarefest? <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> 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 no, well, this is this is going to be a it's going to be an entire uh, uh, cast uh, and some of the crew uh, uh, of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Four. It's going to be Ooh, you know, well, that's Robert, awesome. Alice, Alice uh, uh, Newkirk, um, Danny Hassel. Uh, uh, yeah, on and on and on and on. You remembered his name, Danny Hassel. Brooke, Brooke the yeah, I remember it now. <laughs> Brooke Thies is going to be there. You know, it's uh, it's uh, going to be um, there's going to be Nightmare on Elm Street for people everywhere, and 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 I think um, Brooke Bundy is going to be there. It's a it's a it's like a, a it's like a group. reunion. Yeah, it is a reunion. Cool. And then I heard like this rumor that. Uh, that Robert, this is going to be the last year that Robert does, uh, uh, and that Scarefest might actually be his his final uh, uh, his final uh, con, horror con, which be interesting. That's sad. Well, he's how old is he? He's probably in his what? He's, he's exactly seventies. He is right? exactly ten years older than I am. So he's yeah, I was gonna say he's in his seventies. Yeah, seventy-five. Yeah, he's seventy-five. It's probably time to retire from the conventions. Of course, look at uh, what's his name, uh, William Shatner. I mean, he's yeah up there. Yeah, I was I, I was gonna say even Ca John Carpenter still does conventions. You know, you don't want to be the guy that's wheeled in with the, in a wheelchair though. I mean, well, you see, the thing is, is you, you don't want to be the guy that doesn't know that you're the guy that's being wheeled <laughs> in the wheelchair. <laughs> That's true. That you, you prop him up at the corner and take pictures yeah. with him. <laughs> Which, by the way, we'll get to something. If you've watched Werewolf by Night, I didn't. I, I, oh. I, I you know, like, like I said, I have been That's so okay. up. I have been so up against it. You know? Well, I'll be very. Well, I want to mention Werewolf by Night briefly at the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll talk about Horror Dracula first. Yeah, yeah. But no, I'll talk about. Dracula. Werewolf at night have a little teaser for people, but uh, I'll try to be vague because there's some awesome things that I well I'm already giving away that I liked it so right right but there's some good things that I have to leave out of my description. What do you have that going you would on really in the like. background? That's really cool. Nosferatu. I figured Nos it was appropriate. Oh, is it? Oh, I love Nosferatu. Oh, so by the way, I was thinking about I was thinking about vampires as I often do. I mean, mm. that's what mm. I do in my free time. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about how weak Dracula is. I mean, because I've this is one of my favorite books, and I love the Dracula from 1931. Actually, both of them now, because you mm -hmm. got me into the Spanish one. Yeah, the Spanish <laughs> one. Yeah. But I, I love Dracula so much, and then I was thinking about how weak of a character he is. I mean, it's like, how many weaknesses can one 
character have? He's not really super. He has super strength and all that stuff. And yes, but and his and his nemesis carries a vegetable. <laughs> you have to think about this. His nemesis carries a cross and a vegetable. Yeah. And and basically he's he's put to death with pieces of pine. And not even fifty fifty plus sunblock will do anything for him. Sunlight is his enemy too. And uh, right, he and, has to be invited into somebody's house. Well, he can't just you know, walk in. This, this is just interesting that you bring this up because in watching this, uh, in in watching this Dracula, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, That's actually why I bring it up. Which one is it? Oh, it's, uh, oh the okay. horror of Dracula, which uh, came out in 1958. Yeah, I I kept thinking to myself that yeah, is these they 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 become very close to um, to just animals, you know, just just vermin. Yeah, yeah, not just animals, you know, because a dog is an animal, but but you know they become vermin, you know. Uh, and how how low on the food chain uh, you get when you're a vampire? I know. You know? So all you all you do is sleep and eat, sleep and eat, sleep and eat. Yeah, and, and you know what? I I think that it's I I actually think that it's better. It, it's it's better explained by by like You know, the thing is, is Dracula and this Dracula in particular uh, has all the trappings. You know, he's got the nice house, you know, he's got the castle and all the rest. And, and I guess part of that comes from the fact that they live forever, yeah. right? <clears throat> um, yeah, you can accumulate a lot of money, probably. You can keep, you, well, you can keep a lot, <laughs> Steal it accumulate from people. a lot of money, and you're you're only up at nights, yeah. right? So well, his biggest weakness, we didn't all mention. The restaurant, all the restaurants are closed. <laughs> we didn't know? mention his big weakness. Women. We, well, yeah, you know, the thing is, he's always got, he's always having trouble with the bitches. And that's I mean, what yeah. gets him in trouble every time. It seems every, like every time, every time, it's the women, it's the bitches, the bitches, the bitches is a problem. You know, ninety nine problems, and a, a bitch they're all bitches. One and they're all bitches. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is uh, actually this is what I've wanted to see for a while. I, I've never seen this one. I've seen like the werewolf one, and uh, I, can't, I think I've seen a couple other ones with Peter Cushing, and where they did the they did a whole series of these, right? Like right. Oh yeah. Werewolf. yeah, yeah. By night Scatter. or something. And, and, whatever. And it has a really specific look. You yeah. Know? Uh, so this is 1958. It's British. Uh, Peter yeah. Cushing, Christopher Lee. Um, my best description of this is, so there's this dude named Jonathan Harker. He gets a job under false pretenses at Dracula's castle. And shit happens. Right. So who, A whole bunch who, of shit happens. Who would, who would jo one of Jonathan's friends be? Did I give away too much stuff? Oh, Van Helsing is his Van buddy. Van Helsing is his buddy. Well, this and is, it's kind of, so that's one problem I have with this is they really screwed around with the characters and oh, yeah, no. I was confused because Mina is supposed to be engaged to Jonathan Harker right? and it was Lucy and then her sister was Mina and that was, it's not even, it's not even real. And even the 1992 version followed kind of the book closer. Right. 1931, well, even Nosferatu. No, Behind me? I'm well, just the saying. Thing is, is Nosferatu. The, the, see, the, the, this is That's Dracula. a special one. The, this yeah. is Dracula, Dracula uh, adjacent. <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's, they it's, took Dracula, screwed up the story, had cheapy sets, because I hated that set with the arches. What the hell was that? <laughs> it's like, well, it's yeah. like Carousel. Oh, we took the, yeah. the, 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 the scenery from Carousel, the, the right. musical, Right. because we need some arches. Yeah, and it didn't particularly cut in too well with the location no. itself, and, and and a really boring staircase. And I was like, no, doesn't do it yeah, for me. It's it, not it gothic. A, you know what? The weird thing about it is, is the production design on this one. And the thing is, is there is this thing about Brit British production design always looks different than American production design. And part of it is uh, the lack of a center, the lack of a middle, the lack of a. You know, it, it's like. A randomness to like a bunch of arches and stuff. It's not like yeah. they're leading to a particular one. I mean, yeah, the way they were angled on, was like just like this. <laughs> yeah, think think of think of that staircase, and and, and I think of it as a it, as a production designer. I think I always go for a uh, 
and and I don't mean in the middle of the set, but I mean there's got to be something there that that you you is your 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 center like a focal for point your vision. Yeah. You know, so like that staircase uh, in Dracula is not just the coolest thing in that particular set. It is the movie. You know, well, they I'm have fog on the like staircase. That. They have spider webs on the staircase. It's also gothic. And these yeah. arches look like they were made in the 50s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, it, it, and, and the thing is, is one of the best gags of Dracula not this, but I mean of Dracula. One of the best gags of Dracula is him walking through the cobwebs and, and the cobwebs are undisturbed. Yeah. And that is so cool. <laughs> There's I even mean, a cool camera angle when he's going up the stairs too. Yeah, it is. It, it and it's like so few so few people that I know have ever caught that, you know, that he walked right through the cobwebs and just just and they they didn't even they it didn't even disrupt them, you know. Uh, and there's also Renfield. He's missing in action. Where the hell is right. Renfield? Renfield is so important. And the thing is, is Renfield is so important. And and the thing is, is I guess I I couldn't actually figure out where we were. I mean, I mean, I I mean, we're in we're somewhere in Europe uh, where they have surprising. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm doing my Renfield. Sorry. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 there's somewhere in Europe that that has British accents. <laughs> <laughs> but it's supposed to be Transylvania. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I kind of got that, you know. But at the same time, to me, an awful lot of Dracula has to do with him moving, you know, him going from. That's Renfield, another weakness. He has to Renf sleep on his dirt. <laughs> yeah, and and Renfield doesn't take him. No. Rin Field doesn't take him to Britain, you know? Well, who uh, was the guy that helped him be transported? It was some carriage driver. Was that a rental? A was that an Uber? It, it was a rental. <laughs> it, was a, it was an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. you know what? Uh, I think it was a Lyft. <laughs> I think it was Probably. a Lyft. Um, yeah. Uh, the opening shot, though, uh, there's a casket. And then there's paint falling on it. I'm like, why is somebody painting the ceiling? Because like, it was like the worst blood I've ever oh, seen. Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> the blood at the very beginning is like, it, and you know what? We talked about blood before. Yeah. We have talked about, what we, we talked about this, and, and I've explained that one of the problems with blood is if you use blood that looked like blood, I mean, that actually looked like blood, it's so graphic that it winds up looking like paint. And yeah. that's the thing is that... It's exactly the problem. Well, this looks thick like paint. Like, it yeah, was paint. it looked like paint. It was paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's, exa it's exactly it. I mean, it, it to to make it clear takes an awful lot of the curse off of it, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, oh, totally. It, yeah. it makes it makes light, the light work better with it, you know? Beans, is, it is rather a focal. But every time blood showed up in this, in this film and they used... You know, essentially what looks like paint uh, or actually blood <laughs> as it were it looked terrible <laughs> right yeah 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 i thought it was a very rough interpretation i know? thought it was rough but i actually was it was okay i mean it was marginal for me there's one scene i did like where jonathan harker showed up and dracula takes him to the room and dracula's talking they're talking to each other and you can see their breath and then right. they're standing in front of a fireplace. <laughs> it's like, right. so you can see how cold it is around Dracula. Cause... Right, right, because he's Dracula, right? But I was thinking about the actors. They must have put that, they must have actually literally <laughs> made the studio really cold because. Well, there was, there was a way that they used to do it. Uh, they used to put, they, they used to put a device in your mouth. Oh, really? That, that literally had a little tiny chunk of dry ice in it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, I mean, the, the problems with that yeah. <laughs> are immense. I just can't even tell you. I, you know what? I, I had a guy explain that to me. It's a, I said, "Well, I want to do the steam, you know, the the the, the breath coming out," and uh, he goes, "Ooh, we've got this thing that we used years ago. That you know, they used to use it in the fifties and stuff." And he showed it to me, and I was like. <laughs> Can't you just have him stand sideways with a tube, like? Yeah, I mean, you know, like, yeah, yeah, 
Damn. Like the old SNL trick where you put a tube through the through right, the hand and yeah, the blood right. comes spraying out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I kind of like that touch, though. It looked kind of cool. I mean, I thought it was a... Uh, but, I mean, er, then why would you write a diary? I don't know. I always wondered that when I was reading Dracula. Like, why would you le- leave a diary or laying around? I mean, right. the dude's going to see it. <laughs> I'm going to destroy him. But anyway, um, no, I, I had... My problems, main problems with this was that they didn't need to change all the characters around. They didn't need to have Renfield be absent unless maybe the actor didn't show up and they decided yeah. to, <laughs> to not. Yeah, but the script didn't have it. That it, it... And there's no bats the either. Is, no bats at all. Just, obviously, obviously, uh, they wanted to use one set. I mean, it was, the thing is, is they kind of like did low budget. So it was a budget thing. It That's... was a budget thing, but the the difference is, is is most of the ones that are in America when it went really low budget, and they were doing a Dracula with a really really low budget, they would have more of a tendency to to just make a room is just four walls, right? Right, like Blackula. That's a classic. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> it, it, exactly. But but uh, but they, no, that was simple. They, they still low had an, they still had an extraordinarily uh well dressed castle they just filmed everything in that set you know it didn't it didn't really move out of that set and and i i found it yeah kind of a little close in you know just like it it yeah. closed in the action and and they uh, couldn't find bats <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there was a lot. There was actually talk in there of, of the other creatures. I did how they like to mention that. How does he get around if he doesn't turn into bats? It? Yeah. Just, and, and how does the mass... How does the mass equate to, like, the number of things? And, which, which which were discussions that I really loved, you know, back in the... <laughs> there there are Dracula films that... Well, how does the thing work with the mass, you know? You make a little tiny bat... <laughs> Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, like what we do in the shadows. Bat. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> like I have to say it every time they turn into a bat. Yeah, that's right. Um, the blood transfusion made me nervous because I think this was a time where they didn't really know, know about or understand uh, blood types. <laughs> so I was like, well, I hope well yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were they were talking about a time, right? Where they didn't. I, I, I mean, obviously they understood at that point. I mean, because I don't know at that t- time 80, in history. 62. Well, I mean, they're talking about the eighteen. They're talking about you know, 1800s, 1800s, whatever. Yeah, no, abs- absolutely. <laughs> they 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 actually did battlefield transfusions that way. You know, from one. That's that's to terrifying the other. to me. Oh yeah. Uh, so what do you think of the? Well, I mean, this this is so old. I don't care if we talk about scenes, obviously. But uh, what do you think about the scene? <laughs> the, the last scene. I mean, where uh, Dracula burns. Oh, <laughs> what do you think of yeah, how they the did makeup, that? How about the makeup effects? Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, that was a little rough. <laughs> Did you notice he started burning before the sun hit him? <laughs> right. Well, and not only that, I, I, I love that that at the end, to see him in his burnt state, you know, with the face, <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the makeup effect was really bad. It was it was just, it was kind of like a fake skull with a with a fake charred skin over it. And, and I could tell that there was somebody underneath it, underneath off camera, with a stick just poking it so that it so that it fell apart and looked like <laughs> yeah. I like the deflation too. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. There the was also balloon there, deflating. There was also a scene in there with a hand that that did the same thing, and it was yeah, like, it crumbled up. Yeah, it crumbled up, and and you could see that underneath the hand was a hand, right? <laughs> yeah, I I I didn't really uh, get invested in any of it. I didn't I. I've never really enjoyed Christopher Lee as a, as a, as Dracula. I liked him in Star Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and you had a lot of people in this that went on to like, uh, do, yeah, to do other things. That well, they all. I mean, they all. Yeah. They, they I mean, all went Christopher on to Lee, do things that weren't. Peter Cushing's pretty awesome. Dracula. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, actually, that's one reason it got my interest was I was like, oh, Peter Cushing, I saw like so, I saw something else he, he was in. And I was like, I want to check out that Dracula he was in just because I was curious. And then Christopher Lee, I never really seen much with him in it. So yeah, figured yeah. we'd try it. Uh, I actually had a couple of trivia things that were interesting. The Dracula okay. was, he Give was me, actually, baby. Christopher Lee was only in it for seven minutes. That was, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well. But you know, the old Dracula 1931 was probably in it half the time, probably. 
Yeah, that was yeah, that was a lot. That was Dr he did a lot of lurking. Was, yeah, he did a lot of Trump lot of, things, yeah, like yeah, sneaking yeah. up behind people. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. Uh, the movie was re I, this was interesting to me. It was a double bill originally when it was released in the United States uh, with the thing that couldn't die. <laughs> oh. I was like, that's an interesting combo. That's like a one-two punch, isn't it? <laughs> hey, remember, you, you know what? I, I I literally thought that that I saw this on a double bill with the skull. Maybe you, know? you did. Maybe because I mean it totally had that feel. Well, you know? back then, like, didn't they like uh, like I remember seeing like all the Snow White and Bambi like every year when I was a kid. Oh yeah, kept, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, around around Halloween, all all of October, you know, you you saw all these come back, and they would like you know play three or four. Yeah, night. Frankenstein. I think I even saw that in a movie that was in the you know eighties. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, yeah. but uh, yeah. So I mean, they're Peter Cushing and both Christopher Lee were in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one play, one played uh, Christopher Lee played uh, Count Dooku, and Cushing was uh, I can't I can't remember who he was. Grand Moff Tarkin, whoever yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember all. You know what the thing the thing uh, this also got me to thinking. Uh, when I was growing up, sixties uh, and seventies, the uh, you you only had like three or four channels, and even then they didn't make enough stuff uh, to like show them but but the secondary channels like the local channels like like you would have this you would have like uh cbs and nbc abc this was before fox uh you you would have those three and then you would have np uh, you know basically N pbs PBS. Yeah. PBS. <laughs> but but then you would have local stations uh you know there would be three or four local stations you know uh kind of represented by channel five and Five hmm. and thirteen and nine, five thirteen. Yeah. Five, what about 13, UHF? Nine. Yeah. Well, yeah, UHF was really weird because which, I, by the way, that's an amazing movie if you haven't seen it ever. It's yeah. UHF. I love that movie. Anyway, uh, but but the thing is, is those those these those became outlets um, for uh, all of these films that ran first, all the monster movies. That had first runs, you know, in the 30s, the 40s, yeah. the 50s, you know, all those. So I I grew up watching all of these movies, you know, all yeah. the time. Like Frank. Well, actually, what's funny is I did too, and I I mean, like late 70s, early 80s was when right. I was a kid, and I was watching. Well, I, we talked all these before. I used to watch Lost in Space, and yeah. <laughs> you know, all those shows, and uh, so I watched Frankenstein every Halloween. I watched Frankenstein and Dracula, The Mummy, you know, <laughs> kind of all yeah, those. They and, kept showing them. Yeah, you can find you, you, you. They're much harder to find <laughs> these days than they used to be. <laughs> Although you know, a lot of them have come back now that there are so many channels. You have uh, to look for them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do have to look for them. Uh, HBO, HBO, I think HBO took over the Criterion. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, <laughs> actually, I noticed everything that's Criterion is on HBO right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, they must have bought it or something or taken it over. So. My are they restoring films though that's my question is hbo actually restoring things oh man i've seen some, i don't know i i, <laughs> I like to i like those i like that collection because they do a really good job of restoring it finding yeah. lost scenes and things that haven't you'd never be seen before things like well, that. well i mean literally i i remember seeing watching um the raymond burr godzillas uh which were in terrible shape i mean the prints that they would show from who were just like torn up. I mean, no, nobody suspected that we, that, you know, those were going to run again and again and again. Right. You know? Uh, so, uh, yeah, we did that one recently and that was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And especially compared to the original. Yeah. No, I remember seeing that on TV where, <laughs> where you saw Raven Burr, like, right. and they cut out a lot of the other stuff. Like they totally re-edited everything. <laughs> it's oh like, yeah. Yeah. It's a different they, movie. You just change. The thing is, is, the uh, the the actual original Godzilla just ha had kind of a negative impact yeah. from America for America. And, and thing is, is I I love the way that that uh, all of those uh, monster movies uh, kind of represented uh, Americans as being uh, chumps. Yeah, you know, very very, very opinionated and uh, huge, uh, you know, chumps with big guns and stuff. You know, but I also kind of like the way that uh, 
nobody would ever bother mentioning America in in, in in Dracula and, and that yeah. kind of, you know, in, I, I'm curious about how much of that, how much of America actually gets a, a question in, in all of those, uh, you know, those, those style films, the uh, hammer films. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, actually I, I, I'm going to reluctantly watch them again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah, hammer I films. Mean, but I, I think I, this is probably the best. I mean, this might be one of the better ones of the group, I think maybe. Yeah. Because it's I don't think this was a bad movie. I think it was no. actually pretty good overall. It's just uh, compared to Nosferatu yeah. and Dracula, even the 1992 Dracula, it, it just it, didn't hold up. It was a vampire film. It really wasn't a Dracula film. Right. You know? and, well. And, and the thing is, is uh, it was pretty from the very first shot where they just slowly move on in on the word Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> well, it had pretty gothic letters that were red. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Same color as the paint. I mean, blood. The, the, the blood paint, paint, blood, <laughs> blood paint, paint, blood. So they need to add more, like a dash of fog and a little pinch of shadows, and maybe I'd like it a little bit more. But uh, <laughs> more shadows, more fog, more shadows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I give it kind of an average. Like I'm at a two, I think, kind of a two point yeah, one, yeah. maybe a two. Yeah. <laughs> Just a good two. Uh, well, I, I, would, I maybe know, liked it I, more I, than I, two, but. I'm comparing it to the other Dracula movies, so yeah, it comes down. Com yeah, especially yeah. See, the thing is, is by comp as a vampire film, I would give it a, a two eight. You know, yeah, no, a two nine. It was entertaining, but, <laughs> but it was. But as, <laughs> but as being a Dracula film, uh, I'd have to go with two. You know, because I I, I, I was missing Renfro. I was yeah, I was missing Renfield, the, yeah. the fact that we're moving from one place to the other. Plus, and, I thought uh, Christopher Lee was a little flat, like. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, well, that's the that was the other thing is is there was very little emotion, you know, showed it in all of it, you know. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> when Harker turned into a Dracula, the makeup was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a pretty. Yeah, well, I, and, and why would overall, you kill the woman first? Kill the overall, big guy first, anyway. Overall, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why? Why when you come in? Why? Right. I, I'm sorry, but I mean, I hate to be sexist about all this, but why do you come in? He really hated women. <laughs> he did. That was his and, downfall. And, and, and he did it with a stake and a hammer. <laughs> right. But, but even my wife, my wife and I are looking at each other, and, uh, and he looks in both coffins. He looks in both coffins or both crypts, right? You know, and he knows that he's right there, right? Right, you know, yeah. You know, and you turn your back on the bad guy. You know, and it's right at sunset, too. Right. <laughs> Hello? Oh, well, he wasn't very I, bright. I, I thought, yeah, I thought you That's why Van Helsing it. came to save the day, because he's a little smarter than Harker was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It especially beans as he walked away at the end. And Harker did not. <sighs> so anyway, oh, I watched a movie that I wanted to tell you about, because you need to see it. Okay. I don't want to talk it up too much because you'll end up hating it and tell me it yeah. sucks. But no, uh, Marvel tell. Studios did a Halloween special that I just kind of stumbled. I, I kind of knew about it. I heard about it somewhere, but I didn't know. I didn't make the connection that it would be on Disney, which is stupid because Disney owns right. Marvel now. Yeah. <laughs> so I shouldn't be able to make that connection. But anyway, yeah. I saw it come across the screen. It was only 52 minutes long. And it's called yeah. Werewolf by Night. And it just came out. So it follows a lycanthrope. Or yeah. a werewolf, werewolf who fights evil using abilities giving him curse to, eh, whatever his bloodline. He has to worry about his bloodline, but anyway, he's a he's a special monster and he has to do something special to now, to did, help his buddy. I'll put it that way. Did did they do that black and white? Yeah, it was. They had a black and white filter on it, and uh, it, it looked pretty sweet. It was. It was. Uh, they use a lot of shadows when things happen. When the monsters right. were around, there were shadows instead of like. There's a really cool effect when the the monster attacks somebody. See, I I I I love. It was a Marvel movie, but it was really dark. Like it had the same kind of effects, but it was yeah. had a oh cool a darker storyline. There's a lot of uh, there was there's a lot of people competing with each other to do something. <laughs> I'm trying to be vague, and then the the friendship is interesting. There's a friendship that happens in there, actually more than one friendship. But I'm yeah. gonna 
I'm going to have to say. I'm gonna have but to I think say. they really knocked it out of the graveyard. Yeah. But, uh, no, I think it's it's actually better than the most of the recent Marvel movies I've seen. I, in fact, okay, so I tried to watch that Thor movie, that stupid ass Thor movie. The new one, the new and one? I made it halfway through. Terrible. And I said I can't watch it anymore, and Terrible. I stopped it. <laughs> so new, I was lucky that we one weren't reviewing it. Sucked so yeah. badly. Well, I oh. saw halfway through, and I was like, okay, first of all, thank God I'm at home, and also that we don't <laughs> have to review this. <laughs> I I took the kids and saw it in the theater. And and I didn't I didn't expect it was going to be um, uh, anywhere near as bad uh, as it was. I think Taki Wakiti walked away from it. Just uh, I think he was smoking too much when he wrote the script or worked on the movie. Something because he was too busy having threesomes. Thor the Ragnarok, (laughs) the Ragnarok. Allegedly, sorry, I have to put that in there. Because Ragnarok. Is a legend. The oh Ragnar- no, that was that was that was amazing. amazing, right? You know, but everything that Ragnarok did right, this this one didn't. You know, it, it was amazing. No, and- I think he was ty- he was like sitting around going, "How could I sit to bed?" Mm, let me think. I put a lot of stupid jokes in it. Uh, so, right. um, and and there was way too much of him. Yeah. In, you know, with in his rock character. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. So this was interesting to me. Werewolf by Night was actually directed by a guy who writes music scores. <laughs> so he wrote the music score for Doctor Strange, the Spider-Mans, um, I can't remember what else, but a lot more movies that are Marvel stuff. Yeah. And uh, he wanted to direct this, and he did a pretty good job, I think. Uh, what was The other thing I was going to mention was that well, you know what? it can... has a lot of callbacks to monster movies. That's what I liked about it. And they just need a pinch more shadows and a little dash of fog and i would like it a lot more <laughs> okay you, you 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 guys go out and see that <laughs> so yeah werewolf by night i think i was okay. vague enough gotcha you're vague. You, you, you're 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 uh, actually you're so vague you're out of focus right but now. i'd probably give it a high rating yeah for marvel it was amazing compared to what i've been seeing there you go yep so whatever dude <laughs> whatever I was trying to be short and sweet there. 